than them wings. Old pics and midget in them necklaces and rings. RIP came in. What's good and what up? It's your brother Sam and here at Viral. Hip hop news. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content. Y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. Alright, so a few days ago, Chris Rock found himself in a little bit of heat for making an off-color joke toward the late, great Whitney Houston. We all saw the meme that went up with Whitney Houston sitting there in the glasses in her bag saying, I forgot what the meme said at this point, but then underneath, Chris Rock made the indication that she wanted some crack. Calling Whitney a crackhead, we all know the issues that Whitney Houston dealt with in her life. A lot of people took great issue with this going on social media and saying he was wrong, saying this, saying that. We talked about it on the podcast on Monday, I believe, Oh God and I, and Oh God was also very disappointed in Chris Rock, thought that it was out of line. I myself thought a little bit different. Now, although I didn't think the joke was funny per se, I was not mad at Chris Rock at all because Chris Rock is a comedian. Chris Rock is supposed to take it to that gray area. Comedians often say what you think, but what you will never say, and that's why we love comedy. I mean, if you think of the greatest comedians of all time, if you go back into your repertoire of the greatest comedians, your greatest comedian list of all time, a lot of those brothers or sisters took it to a level where it was like, oh shit, we can't say this in mainstream media. This is for the comedy club. We're going to let it all hang out here. We're going to really give you some good medicine and laughter. And that's just how I felt about it. Chris Rock ended up taking that meme down, feeling the heat at all costs. Obviously, he felt the pressure of, of the millions of people commenting on it, people around his circle getting on him. So taking the heat, he took it down. Well, Marlon Wayans was on, I believe, Big Boy's Neighborhood in L.A., and he was asked a question about Chris Rock and his whole situation. We all know Marlon Wayans and his family are, are not shy from saying whatever the fuck they want. He's done all kind of movies. He does not care. Goes on stage and says whatever he wants. So this is the perfect person, I think, to talk about this situation. He has some very interesting comments in regards to the Chris Rock situation. I'm going to play an excerpt of that. Then I'll come back with my one, too. Let's go. Do you ever second guess yourself with so many like we just saw it recently with Chris Rock where he thought he put he thought he was putting up something funny and it was a meme and then he took it down because everyone was coming at him for what it was. Do you ever like oh should I say this should I not? Fuck everybody. Yeah. Fuck everybody. Fuck your sensitivity. Fuck all these bots from Russia and other places that are trying to are take away our facts? First Amendment. Yeah, I'm going to go to bat for our First Amendment all the time. And as mm. a comedian, I live and die on the sword of truth. So I'm not taking back jokes. I'm not taking back thoughts. I'm not apologizing. I'm unapologetic. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be liked. Mm. I'd rather be respected. And when I'm trying to find some jokes, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me. I don't care about your sensitivity. Write me up. Up, write me up. I gotta go in dark. My job is to. It's like getting mad at a fireman for going in a burning building. My job is to go into a dark burning building and come out saving lives with these jokes. I got some smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm running into the. Hey, I'm, man, do I'm you running remember? into that building of molestation. I'll be back. Yeah. What you got? Oh man, I got these jokes. <laughs> do you remember when comedy used to be that? Comedy like, is that. Don't yeah. let the. Don't let social media tell you anything different. I do comedy clubs every goddamn weekend. Every weekend I'm mm -hmm. in a comedy club. I don't get walkouts. You know what I get? People loving the fact that they're at a place where they, they're they hearing truth. Yeah. They're hearing laughter. They're hearing darkness. They're hearing We real. get afraid to laugh at funny shit now. Mm. Because no. Because you know, you it's the infection of social media. Okay, thanks to everybody that stuck around for my one-two on the back end. Y'all just heard Marlon Wayans. Let me tell you why that exactly right there needed to be said. Now, whether you agree with what Chris Rock said or not, whether you think it's funny or not, is beside the point. But we live in a day and age today where everybody is so hyper-fucking-sensitive. I say it all the time on the podcast. I'm a, a, a comedian connoisseur. I love a good comic. And when I want to listen to a comedian, I don't want them thinking about, oh, am I going to offend this person? Oh, am I going to offend that person? Nah, you let all that shit hang out. And like I said, you're going to nine times out of ten, or I'm going to say ten times out of ten, you're going to say something on stage that most motherfuckers think but are afraid to say 
and that's what makes you funny. They are, the cliche is uh, laughter is the best medicine and I couldn't agree more because where else could you find a place where you could put all kind of different ethnicities in one spot and one person can go up there and talk shit about everybody and can get a genuine laugh about it. I mean, this is how you bridge gaps. This is how you, you begin to gain relationships. This is how things and, and conversations and peace, honestly, begins to happen through laughter. And, and when you get in a day and age where a comedian has to watch what they say or do this or do that out of fear of offending this person, offending that person, offending this color, offending this gender, this or that or third, it gets a little fucking sad, man. Now, we, we live in a day and age where we're playing the victim is like being the heavyweight champion of the world. We talked yesterday on the podcast. I, I wanted to bring up Pete Davidson, the comedian Pete Davidson. And although you damn sure won't hear that conversation on YouTube, you got to go check that out on iTunes, Spotify, or Google Play. That's on the audio version of our podcast. Make sure you check that out. I did speak about him being a little hypersensitive. Now, he has been going through a little bit of relationship problems. He was supposed to do a show. Um, a couple days ago, the owner said something in regards to his relationships. Dude got mad, got upset, walked out, felt disrespected. You're a fucking comedian, my dude. So you mean to tell me somebody can joke? Well, you could joke on everybody else, but somebody can't joke on you? I mean, what happened to just having some tough skin? Now, like I said, if you agree with what Chris Rock said or not, we can't have such sensitive skin. We can't be so sensitive to certain things. I mean, do you remember the Bernie Macs of the world, the Richard Pryors, the Eddie Murphys when he was doing his thing on Delirious and Raw, Red Fox, Robin Harris? These motherfuckers was not pulling punches. They didn't care what they said. They were going out there and giving it to you raw. And that's what I loved about them, man. And in today's age, I mean, with, with cell phones everywhere and, and this going to TMZ and this fucking jumping to the, to the shade room or whatever, you got comedians genuinely stepping on tiptoes or walking on eggshells and it's really diluting their brand. It's really diluting the comedy, man. And that's very sad. Shout out to Marlon Wayans, who was very unapologetic about being funny, saying, fuck everybody. I couldn't agree more. Not that the love for the people is not important, but when you're doing something out here, would you genuinely love it and you have passion for it? You cannot, I mean, cannot worry about what people are saying not everybody is going to agree not everybody's going to like you not everybody's going to think you're funny and if you sit back and worry about those select few people that percentage of people who don't agree with you don't like you anyway you're gonna fucking lose you're not gonna be successful and if chris rock would have thought about what people said and worried about what people said throughout his career he wouldn't be where he is today one of the greatest comedians of all time. And I also want to address this because I dropped the video, Oh God, over at Hip Hop News Uncensored. Shout out to my brother, also dropped the video. And I'm hearing a lot in the comments section that, oh, we never rock with Chris Rock. Chris Rock was never funny to begin with. Listen, listen, listen. It's easy to say that now when the dude ain't on top of his career coming out with stand-up comedy after stand-up comedy. Because when Chris Rock was at his top, nobody, and I mean nobody, I don't give a fuck what color you were, were denying Chris Rock, when he was doing Pookie, when he was fucking, he was a crackhead in New Jack City and the shit was still funny. He wasn't even trying to be funny and he was funny. When he was saying, good Lord, that's a lot of money on a living color. When he was coming out with them comedy shows at the comedy shows, Chris Rock was fucking hilarious. And that's another thing that's wrong with today's society. They want to run with a wave just because they don't agree with somebody. Now, all of a sudden, they don't like this person. They don't like that person. That's a little unauthentic. That's a little disingenuine. Let's not go there. You can agree to disagree, but let's not get too up in arms about situations because we know by next week or the week after, nobody's going to remember this shit anyway. So I agree totally with what Marlon Wayne said. Fuck the people that are going to just not care anyway or throw, or throw shade at you anyway. You got to do what you love, man, and do what's genuine to you, and the real people will respond. That's just my one, too. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think of Marlon Wayans' comments in regards to this Chris Rock with the Houston situation. Also in the description box, you'll see links to our IG and Twitter, which you also see up top. And make sure you subscribe to all the movements. Myself, Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News Runs. Push up with Sam Ant. New episodes coming out this summer. The Wake and Bake podcast coming with my brother O God in the next couple of weeks. Ooh, I cannot wait for that. And of course, subscribe to the most underrated, most dangerous podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and all major online outlets to date. The Uncensored Truth Podcast. All links in the description box. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Until next time, until next story. This is Sam Ant, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.